Hello children, a good morning. How have you been? Hope you are well and keeping safe. My name is Teacher Hannah, ready for today's lesson. Welcome. Let us bow our head and say a word of prayer. Thank you God for this day. Thank you Lord because of your love. Thank you God because of your mercies upon our lives, oh God. Thank you God because you have taken care of us. This morning we commit ourselves unto you, O oh God. We pray, Jehovah Father, that you may open our minds, that we may hear from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we are going to learn about forgiveness. Children, how many times do you forgive each other when someone does long to you? Do you forgive or do you revenge? Hello kiddos, today we are reading from the book of uh, Genesis chapter number 37 from verse 31 to verse 38 and I read Then they got Joseph's robe, slaughtered a goat and dipped the robe in the blood. They took the ornate robe back to the father and said, We found this, examined it to see. He recognized it and said, it is my son's robe. Some ferocious animal has devoured him. Joseph was surely been torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and mourned for his son many days. All his sons and daughters came to comfort him, but he refused to, he refused to be comforted. No, he said, I will continue to mourn until I join my son in the grave. So his father wept for him. Meanwhile, the Midianites sold Joseph in Egypt to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard. That's the word of the Lord. Our memory verse for today will come from the book of Ephesians, chapter number 4 and verse number 32. Ephesians, chapter number 4, verse number 32 it says be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other i repeat again be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other let's say together children be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other we repeat again be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. Hi, boys and girls. Good morning and praise God. Today, we are learning about forgiveness and our story is about Joseph, who had 11 brothers and his father was called Jacob. His brothers hated him so much because he was so much loved by the father. One time, they decided to kill him, but they sold him to Egypt. So they went with him to Egypt and he became a slave and he was very honest and was very, 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 very faithful. And uh, one time he had an incident with a Potiphar's wife, he was put in prison and then he stayed in the prison and he was also the, the chief prisoner. One time, the king of Egypt had a dream. He slept and he had a dream. Have you ever dreamed? So when he woke up, he was so much disturbed by the dream. No one could be able to interrupt the dream in the whole land of Egypt. One, one person said, Joseph can be able to interpret the dream. Joseph came. The king narrated him the dream. He told him about what he saw in the dream. And Joseph was able to interpret the whole dream. The king was so happy with Joseph. And he said, there is no man like you in Egypt. So he commanded that Joseph should be next to him. He was given a very big position and everybody wanted to report to him. And so it came a time, there was a very big famine in the whole world. There was no food anywhere. But in Egypt, there was food because Joseph had made plans to store food. 
So people from Israel came looking for food. And that time, his 11 brothers came looking for food. They came to Egypt to buy food. And when Joseph saw them, he remembered, these are my brothers. He recognized them, but they could not recognize him. So he asked them, where are you from? Where is your, who is your father? Where is he? Do you have another brother? And they could not do what it was his, their brother because they could not imagine such a big officer in the whole country being their brother. And so he asked them, now, can I see your father? Can I see your small brother? And they were so disturbed. They, want, they thought he wanted to, to make them prisoners. But Joseph was not doing that. He was, so, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was he was so much in love with them and he was so happy because he had seen his brothers. He was not even remembering that they sold him to Egypt. He forgave them, he forgave them all the things they had done and they welcomed them to Egypt. He told them, go and come with your father. And when they came, he gave them a very big banquet and he told them, I am your brother and I'm the biggest person here and you're going to settle here. I have no problem with you. Whatever you're doing to you, it was God's plan and, and, and now I'm here. Come with all your properties. You'll be staying here. You and the, all the brothers, all the family, Joseph's family, staying there happily. God has commanded us to forgive one another. Somebody can wrong you. Maybe you have ever wronged somebody, but they come back and say you are forgiven you. When you're in school, somebody can step on you. When you're praying, somebody can drop you down and you feel bad, but they say, I'm sorry, to, to, I'm sorry, just forgive me. It's good to forgive. Just as Joseph forgave his brothers. Children, we should forgive each other at all times. When someone does long to you, forgive, 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 and forgive. Okay? Till next time, take care, keep safe, and pray to our God.